Hi everybody, this is Mr. McKee with CTS 115. Um, I want to go ahead and go over this packet tracer. It is 3.2.2.5 uh, for the Internet of Things course. Alright, now I'm going to start from scratch because I was uh, troubleshooting some of the um, students work that they submitted. So I just wanted to make sure I could start from scratch and go through the whole thing with you guys. Probably be the easiest. Alright, so let's look at our instructions first. Now I've actually placed a copy of this on Moodle also. Okay, so in this activity you will connect the computing and Internet of Things devices to the home network. All the Internet of uh, Things devices have been configured to work with rocker switches, which are these right here. Lamp, fan, coffee pot. Uh, connected to a single board computer, which could be a Raspberry Pi, um, and do we know things like that? Feather board. Um, the Internet of Things devices need to be connected to the home gateway, which is right there, um, and registered with the registration server, which is out there on the internet. Uh, you already have an account with the registration server. Okay, there's your password, username. After the Internet of Things devices are connected to the home network and registered with the registration server, you will be able to connect, control the IoT devices at home or away from home via the registration server. <clears throat> okay. Part one, setting up the home network, set up the wired network, connecting the available fast Ethernet, port on home switch, which is home switch right there, to any available Ethernet port on home gateway using a cap, copper straight through cable. Okay, so. A lot of you guys are new to Packet Tracer. It made your little toolbox down here. Uh, it might be selected in devices. You see the little lightning bolt? That's all your connections. Okay, and it's saying it wants a <clears throat> copper straight through cable, which if you mouse over all these, it tells you what they are. There's copper straight through, and let's see. Any okay? You see, see how the switch has 24 ports for fast Ethernet and two for gigabit. Just do a fast Ethernet port. Home gateway. Any of these Ethernet ports. All right. Goes orange when it's connected. When it converges, it'll turn green. And you can fast forward it right there if you want. All right, screen, good to go. I can mouse over it. It'll tell me what uh, port I'm on. Fast, fast Ethernet 01 and Ethernet 01. All right. So, and we look at our completion. It's zero right now, but hopefully that'll go up shortly. All right. So, connect fast Ethernet port on PC, which is right there, all right, to an available fast Ethernet port on the home switch using a copper straight through cable. All right. So, fast Ethernet port, port zero, which is the only fast Ethernet port since it only has one network card. From there to any available fast Ethernet, and I, I like to go in order. All right, those are together. Got a green light and an orange light. It's doing its thing, more than likely trying to obtain a IP address from the home gateway. Let's do a fast forward. All right, converge, good to go. All right. Let's see. Click PC. All right. Brings up the PC window. Click desktop. Okay. Click IP configuration, which is right here. All right. Click DHCP for dynamically assigning IP address. It just gave me an IP address 192.168.25.100. Um, everything else is pretty standard. Uh, CIDR 24, default gateway is 224, okay. All right.
right, that's fine. Uh, completion 1 out of 21. All right, let's see if we're done with PC. All right. So we're good with that. All right, step two, click home gateway. And just to let you guys know, this is a home gateway, kind of like the way a lot of them used to be. Um, you have a separate cable modem and then a separate gateway. Um, nowadays, a lot of times you have a all-in-one, um, the modem is built into the um, home gateway. And a lot of people call it a router, cable, cable uh, router, DSL router. Uh, it has a built-in switch, built-in router, built-in wireless access point, um, built-in um, some other functionality, maybe a built-in firewall, something like that, uh, filtering device. All right, but that's what that is. And if you look at the back of it, you can see the four Ethernet ports. You see the one Internet port, which is for your outside, more like the uh, cable modem. Look through it real quick. Not a lot to configure. All right, let's see what we got. All right, click Config tab. Click uh, Internet, left panel. All right, so this is where you set its IP address. Uh, click DCP. So you're getting, looks like you're getting external IP addresses. So home gateway is going to the modem. The modem's going back out to the ISP. ISP is assigning you IP addresses. All right, cool. All right, we're 2 out of 21. <clears throat> All right, let's close this down. Let me make sure, though. All right, click DCP under your settings. Home gateway will receive a their settings from the ISP. Then home gateway, click wireless. All right. Change the uh, SSID to my home, my home gateway. All right, so we have to change there. Um, channel is grayed out, can't do anything with that. Um, change the authentication to WPA2PSK, WPA2PSK, our passphrase, and this has to be um, case, it is case sensitive, Cisco. IOT as the PKA or PKS passphrase. Okay, that looks good for our 21. Just make sure I didn't miss anything. Click refresh. All right, cool. All right, six out of 21. <clears throat> Alright, click laptop, desktop. You guys see it has a bunch of functionality just like a regular uh, laptop. Alright, click desktop, uh, PC wireless, since it's going to be wireless. Now, sometimes it, this may be a slight bit confusing sometimes the way this is set up, but it's not too bad. Alright. Click the connect tab. All right, select. My home gateway network, which is right there. Okay, selected. If it's not, uh, if it doesn't populate, click refresh. Click connect. Um, Make sure you got WPA2 personal. Enter your passphrase, which is capital C for Cisco. Cisco, capital I, lowercase O, capital T, connect. All right, signal strength, link quality looks good. All right, shows us the um, dash lines, so we are connected. It's good. All right. All right, nine out of twenty one, getting there. All right, connect IoT devices to the network. IoT devices can be connected using wires or wirelessly. 
The coffee pot will be connected to the network using Ethernet cables. Okay. Okay, the coffee pot will be connected to the network using Ethernet cables. The lamp and ceiling fan will be connected wirelessly. Okay. Connect the coffee pot to any available fast Ethernet port. Fast Ethernet port. It's very strange. Okay. All right. Click lamp. Click config. Zero. All right. Enter. P A T P K S. Where's this list yet? I know. I know how to keep EFT. All right. EFT. Leave that order. That's fine. All right. My gateway. All right. Do PA2, PKS. Cisco is the PKS passphrase. Um, select the TCP. Hopefully that will converge for us really quick. Oh, okay. 192.168.25.102. Good to go. Got 12 out of 21. All right. Next up, let's see. All right, so we have the lamp. Ceiling fan, coffee pot, repeat step C for the ceiling fan. All right. So let's click this, let's click config, let's do the wireless, let's do this in order this time. I Home gateway is SSD. All right, WPA2, PK, PSK. All right, Cisco. Okay, uh, make sure it's case sensitive. I know some of these was incorrect because of that. All right, that's good to go. TCP, let it do its thing. Converge. All right. 22, 168, 25, 103. All right. We can refresh it if we like. All right, 15 out of 21. Get in there. All right, looks good. Ceiling fan is wirelessly connected. All right. Let's see what we got here. All right, interact, interacting with IoT devices. The IoT devices can be configured to be controlled directly with switches or through the web interface. In part two, you will connect the IoT devices to a registration server so you can control the IoT devices via a web interface. All right, you can control the IoT devices directly by pressing Alt. Alt, and click the device at the same time. 
Okay, so I can turn the switch on, and we see our uh, lamp turn on. Pretty cool. Fan. Well, too bad the fan blades don't spin. That'd be cool, but I guess that's too much. All right, coffee pot would be what you could put things in in this right here using the coffee pot I use a Keurig but whatever alt okay alt All right. It'd probably be cool to have a timer or two that cuts that coffee pot off for safety alright so we did that that didn't give us any um, extra points alright lab config Remote server. All right, server address. Make sure these are case sensitive. So it's a password. All right, click connect. Connecting. All right, let's do. We did a lamp. Now it wants us to do the ceiling fan. All right, config, put server. All right. Connecting. I believe we're getting there because our up to 17 out of 21, which looks good. All right, ceiling fan, coffee pot. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. <coughs> All right. So I'm at about. Just to let you guys know the time. You can probably see that on YouTube. I'm at about 17 minutes for this activity. Connect. Should be good to go. <clears throat> All right. We can do our little refresh if we want to. 18 out of 21. All right. Access the IoT devices remotely. Click laptop. All right, here's a laptop. Click the desktop. All right, web browser. Let's see if I have success with this. PKA. Okay, go. Oh, cool. All right, we're there. Do we have a username and password? Admin, admin, all lowercase. Okay. Alright, so we got a ceiling fan and we got a lamp. And we don't have a coffee pot. Alright, so let's see what we got here. Did I set this up? I did. Straight up PKA. Let's do a refresh. All right. Clicking the little down arrow chevrons, they call them. All right, turn lamp one by. Let's go back to this. All right, now it's not going to make a lot of sense. Let's see, turn lamp one by clicking dim. How about low? A 
Whoops. There you go. Dim. I was like, clicking the wrong thing. One. Dim. Off. Fan speed. Bing, bang, boom. All right. Okay, so here's the question. And this is obvious now that I look at it. All right. What did you click to turn on the coffee pot from the laptop? That's a good question. Let's go to our desktop. Okay, so looking at here, we're missing a coffee pot. So, what's one thing that I may have forgot to do? <clears throat> Just looking at it. All right. We know these are working. We know that these are working. We know these are talking together. All right. Let's click on the coffee pot. Let's look at. All right. One thing we didn't do. On the fast Ethernet, zero is turn on dynamically assigned IP address. All right, so that's on there. Good to go, good to go. We can fast forward to make sure it's good to go. All right, it actually populated on here now. <clears throat> okay, so this is like an external server, web server. All right. So we can tell it's a one. And clicking red, if it's red, click it. All right, it's a one. And our lamp, we can turn our lamp from dim to on, off. All right, ceiling fan. All right, good to go. Okay, so we know that's good. All right, we see our completion is 21 out of 21. That's what we're looking for. All right, here's one other thing I want to show you guys. Where was this? Okay. Okay, so we got a smartphone also. That's our iPhone or whatever it is, Android in my case. All right. Whoops, has actual buttons. That's great. All right. Click on this. Desktop. Web browser. All right. Same thing. www.register.pka. Click go. And then, and then. All right, so not only can we see the status of these, all right? All right, so we see statuses, and let's just verify that it's actually working. All right, that's on the internet. This is inside our house. Click the Alt, Lamp Switch. Lamp switch has changed to on. Lamp switch has changed to off. Fan switch on. Fan switch off. So extra functionality on the internet of being able to do it low or do it high speed. At home we can only do on or off. All right, coffee pot. Switch is on. Switch is off. Okay. I don't really 
like the the on on feature. I'd like to know if right. It's telling me the status if it's on, but I would want to say okay if it's red, it's on, which red there shows you're on light. All right, yeah, just personal preference, I guess. So what you see right here, er everything's done. We're good to go. We verified everything works. Our functionality, so we can actually monitor and control our IoT devices from the internet. All right, um, looking on here. Whoops. Let me zoom this in a little bit. Okay, so. These could be Raspberry Pis, these could be Arduinos, you know, whatever you're using. All right, if I click on these, all right, programming, you see right here, this is running a Python uh, script. It's calling up these libraries, all right, ports all these libraries, that's fine. All right, you can find in your main right here. While true fan switch, you know, while all these are true, go through these if then else statements. Um, has a delay. All right, so all that we're not going to go into that very much right now, but we will go into that more. That's identical to what we're going to be doing with the Raspberry Pis. Let's look at this other one. Kind of easy to follow. GPIOs are definitely what we'll be using because that's saying, okay, these certain pins on this Raspberry Pi, this is what they're going to be doing, or this is what they control or monitor. We don't have to actually program that in, it's already done for us in the library. So we're going to get the GPIO um, library and the time library. And you can see they use time um, and some other libraries. So good to go. Not gonna really go into that much, but just to show you it, give you some exposure. Alright, so look on here. Wireless connection, wireless, wireless, wireless. These are straight through cables, straight through cables. That's a you could say um, an internet connection or a cloud. Um, it's got two routers connected with the um, lease line. All right, blue. Make sure I'm telling you guys right. Whoops. Do this. All right, coaxial. All right, so cable modem. Yeah, that's an actual, just like your um, truck TV or your cable, cable modem. All right, with DSL, really, you're going to be seeing um, usually the. Um, Lightning bolt pattern is your leased lines, like you're actually purchasing that line from the ISP. All right, these are special IoT custom cables. I would assume those are probably um, just small wires. Of course, the switches will definitely be wires. All right, wired into the Raspberry Pi, maybe Ethernet, but for the most part, just really small. 24 gauge probably cables. All right, depending on what it's powering. <clears throat> All right, we'll go over more of that because that's some of that's actually going to be a little bit different. You'll be doing more than just especially powering a fan. Coffee pot pulls a good bit of current. Fans pull a good bit of current. Lamp, if it's an LED lamp, it's not going to pull that much current. Um, it's still, I wouldn't want to power it exclusively with the Raspberry Pi. I'd want to have a relay um, stepping up the uh, potential uh, current it can supply. All right, but that's just, I'm just, I'm just talking. All right, and that's it. 29 minutes. Um, you're good to go. What I need from you guys is a copy of this. Screenshot of that. So control open screen, put it in a Word document. All right, so paste this in there. All right, good to go. Don't really need all this other stuff. 
for 2016 is easy to crop out what you don't need. All right, I want this. Well, actually, I want the file location path. All right, got that. And I want this. All right, well, I've got two pack tracers open. I want this one. All right, so I want this one. So completion, that's the big one. 21 out of 21, 100%, good to go. Come on. That's what we need this early. All right. That can be a little bit smaller. All right. As long as I can see it, it doesn't really have to be perfect. All right. So we're good to go. All right. So because I look at this and I see that it took you a minute to do it, that's going to be an issue. Um, obviously, you get 121 out of 21. You can even watch the video. Um, I just want you guys doing it. Exposure, exposure. Um, do it once, do it again, keep doing it. That's how you don't, especially in the Cisco networking classes, just doing it over and over again. This is a good overview, though, of pretty much what you're going to be doing. You're just going to be adding to it. <clears throat> okay, so we have that. Let's see. And that's really it. Um, while I'm thinking about it, all right, obviously you can submit this one to your um, Moodle submission link. All right, what else on here? I think that's it for that. Everything's good. I'm just looking. Yeah, I think we're good. All right, so just go ahead and submit that, and I'll put a copy of this video on YouTube for you guys to look at. Alright, thanks for watching.